uh, and panelling on here. I took the plaster off because some of it was a bit loose, but it's very dry this wall. I'm not worried about damp. I'm going to put a damp course behind tile battens. Then my panelling's going on, some insulation behind it. I've got a build out behind there, and then plaster is going to tidy up on top and sort the ceiling out. Um, we haven't decided on cornice in here, it might be similar cornice to this cheap crappy stuff, or it might be a bit fancier, like what's in there. I just cut a piece off that wall. That's a bit more than two meters. If I open that up, it's four meters long. I need to get a batten up there. It's my two meter mark. And between there and the ceiling, there's only about 10 mil difference as you go to there. I haven't measured over there. I did consider going off the floor, but there's about 20 mil difference there. And I don't want this, I don't want this sloping. Swings and roundabouts. Sometimes if you put something in level and nothing else is level, then it looks wrong. But I'm going to put this in level because the door and the window's level. Well, that was fun. I cut out a couple of channels behind so the wires have got somewhere to go. Wire sparker can sort out the top. There you go in a channel as well. Get some more screws in and I'll get some more on. Then I'm going to put a level on and see what it's like and pack it all. Pack it all straight-ish. Right, top timber screwed on. These ones have just got a couple of screws in. And I know they're not straight. I'm not after perfection, but in the middle here. So we've got a fairly decent gap there. I think it's worse here, I think. Yeah, look at that. Oh. Yeah, similar there. At the end. But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pack this end so that it's parallel off the door frame because I want that strip of wood that's going in there to be parallel this frame almost plumb when I fitted it I put it the same distance to the brickwork outside so it's probably the wall that's out but anyway I'll put this parallel and I'll pack the ends of these to suit then I'll get that one straight, that one plumb, so that it's straight. Out of plumb, just straight. Same on the bottom. Then I can work in between, straighten these up, working off that one and that one. If that makes sense. Sort your perimeter out, then you can work out your middle. So, pack these. So they're the same distance off there. And I'm using a piece of ply because my level ain't long enough. But that's straight. I'll put that on there, that's straight. So now I need to make this plumb. Bit of a kick in the middle there. But it's not far off. Pack that top out a little bit. And pack the others to suit this wall. Isn't bad actually. It's quite straight as well. That needs to be right because the corner's going to come together there. So that ends good. I need to check it where the packers are these screws down here I've got to release them just because it pushes it like that so that's good this ends good so 
I can do now. Just using my straight edge. So what I can do now, using my straight edge, is get that. Pack that out till that's straight. And I can work down the middle. Same again across there. Without the wire in the way. Plumb it in between. So what I'm doing is breaking it down into squares. So that ends right, that ends right. I get the top right, get the bottom right, get the middle right. Then all I've got is these little ones in between to tidy up. So I'll put a packer in the middle. And That's about right. Little gap there, but I'll pack there. And I'll pack in the middle of there. So that ends right, the middle's right, and that ends right. So all I've got to do is sort out in between on either side. So that's the middle straight. So now. That ends straight, that ends straight. I straightened it across the top, straightened it across the bottom. Now I've straightened it down the middle. All I've got is these little bits to sort out. I'll put the straight edge that way and that way. And just pack and screw those bits now. I'm just working out the panelling. This is the top rail for the longest one that's going down that wall. I've cut 16 legs. They're going to be the uprights between the panels. And from here, I've got a 4 inch on one end, and then it's going to be 3 inch in between. So from there to there, I've got 3, 4, 5, 0. So I've got 4 legs, it's going to have 5 panels. So, three four five zero there gives me three one seven zero. So three one seven zero divided by five, will give me gaps in between. So it looks like six thirty four. I'll mark it on here, but I'll make just the tiniest little mark. Then use a piece of three inch, make a tiny mark. I've done this before and calculations just don't fucking work out sometimes so you end up rubbing them out so you don't want to make a big mark to begin with and that's the last one and calculations work today I'll put that there 634 so now I can square these down if I want but I know the top rail, top panel is going to be like that, and there's a little panel, so I know the length of the middle rails now. So that's the long one all stacked, two end panels, two fours for the ends, four threes and all the riders, the rails. This one is going just next to the door here, next long this one, four inch at that end, just three at this end. I'm putting fours on there so that when this panel that's going to be here comes in there, I should have three inch there and about the same there. Find a sharp one. Okay, I'll do. So it's 
So slightly different, but not my so that'll be like that. I'll divide this up three panels on this one. So I'll measure between there and there, divide it up. Right, so I've got long wall panels, next longest beside door. And I've got a leg that's going to go on that little panel next to the door. Then all my legs and all my rails for the little pieces of these ones. Don't know what size they're going to be, it depends when I put the. I could guess it, but I might as well just cut them once. So I'm just going to groove, groove them all. I'm using one as a template, little block, so I can get them up. That's the line I'm working to, that's the line where I want my domino. Same there, foot bottom rail. And these are just going in the centre. So they're all going like that. I was going to set up a template for these, a jig, so I didn't have to mark them all, but I need this line anyway to set me timber. So I'm putting these dominoes on the adjustment so I can wiggle them just a little bit but I need to do both sides and I need that line anyway so that's all the legs done these four inch ones are going to go on two of the panels on the ends I've made in pairs because they're only grooved on one side so I've got one for that end and one for the other end Right, got to do all these ends now. These ones in the top can be just 50 mil, because into the top is 50 mil, 50 mil, 100 mil domino. But these ones that are going to go into these ones, they're 50 mil in there. Or these ones, I should say. These ones, 70 mil timber, so they can only go in at a maximum 35. 35 from 100, 65, so into these end rails here, into these rails, I need to go at least 65mm. The dominoes are only about 50, 95. It's quite a lot of those ends, so I'm going to use this, set this up. So, centre line. Something like that. So that's just hanging over there. I've got a block at that end, so I can push on it. So they're done. I've got these little rails to do, but like I say, I'm going to set it at 65.
I'm going to cut the panels. I've measured this board corner to corner. The factory boards normally square. So in each corner, do that. That's square. Do the same over there. Right, so with the way these panels are working out, I've got six, 64 I think it is. Which means I'll get two out of there for the tops. So the grain will be going that way. But then I'll have a bit pin. It should be wide enough to do the bottom panel. The grain will be going that way, but I ain't got a lot of choice without buying more boards. I prefer it going up and down, but hey oh. Right, so that's one cut. I need these boards to be 117. So from the square corner I'll come down 117 and same again 117. Then that off cut I'll do the same little panels. I'll see how many I can get out of that. Three or four. 6.45, so 3. So, like that. This is the back, so I'm not bothered about a bit of breakout. Chop that one up now. Alright. That's the only waste. Alright, uh, that's waste. And that's waste. Right, same again for this one. This is the third last panel to go down that wall. The other ones on this other wall are just 10 mil narrower, so I'll be able to get one out of here. And then that should do some of the bottoms over there. But I can start putting this one together now. So I'll put some 20 mil pins in my gun. As I'm putting this together, I can put a pin in here and there if I need to, just to hold it all together. Into the dominoes maybe, into the panels, whatever I need to. I need to cut a hole for all these wires. I think there's six here. So I've just been out to stick a pin in there, that's just holding that. But it means I can still move it a little bit, pivoting on that point. That was fun. Could cut a box, but Sparky says he'll cut it out. Get this one on now. Get that one on. I've left these these uprights sort of 50mm short so I can slide the domino in. Uh, that went to go a bit easier than I thought. Put that one in, put the panel in, put that one in. Then I had to just wriggle this one in. Put a pin in the dowels, in the dominoes, stop them coming apart. I've had my level on there, it's not bad. All this timber's just straight off the shelf. PSE crap. Plain, plain three edges, some of it. But this is the cheaper option. There was other options, just screw a bar to the wall, pin some beads on, pin some strips on. Um, a few other options. Next one after this was make all this out of hardwood. Be right. It'll match the rest of the decor in the house eventually, when it warps and shrinks and bends. Once it's bladdered in paint, it'll be right. Uh, I'll work my way along. Put that panel in. Put the bottom panel in, put that end on. This might be a bit difficult, but we'll see what it's like when I come to it. Just start a piece of turbo one on top there, see what it looks like, and temporarily pin the architrave on. Just get it in behind there, just temporarily pinned on. Doing this side, I'm going to fix the top on, and then put these in up like I did this side. 
but there's pipes here. Always known that they're a bit of a lump. They're normally toasty warm. Maybe the radiators are on. I just exposed them just for now because I need to get a fixing in up there. Mm -hmm. yeah. Right, no water, no sparks. That's good. Get another one in that end and I'll start putting it together and I'll bang some more in when it's all together. You know how it goes. Can spark it. Put his box there. But told him it needed to be out here. Box. frame in just so that I can work out what size rails and panels and stuff. I'll just put a screw in there. Mm. 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 That's a bit better. I'll do. Try and get one on here now. I've got to knock it back for the panels to sit like that so the architrave will be sat on the face. And then just like, like down here, skirting architrave. I'm glad that one's done. That was every swear word you could think of, all put together. That one was a bit easier. Just got that corner over there to do now. And all the architrave and the top trim. Floor's going down and the skirt you can go on. Uh, that's the last bit of paddling on in that corner. This one, I ripped down these legs just so that I could get a decent sized paddle in there. I think it'll look alright. It'd have only been as thick as my finger if I hadn't. Um, pissing it down outside. But I'm very glad I've got my saw. Domino and the chop saw are all hooked into the extension which goes to the hoover. So all I've got to do when I use different machines is swap over the, the hose. I could drive now.